things for your daily dose of nerd news. On today's episode, we take a look at an amazing innovation in the realm of nanotechnology. And China's going to actually put something on the moon and not crash it there on purpose. So first up for today, one of the coolest pieces of technology that signifies that we are in the future is nanotechnology. I mean, beside transporters and holodecks and robots and stuff, but nanotech's cool. Nothing excites me more than having little miniature robots flowing through my bloodstream. I cannot wait. Researchers from Aarhus University over in Denmark, with a little bit of help from the Italians and the Americans, but really, it was probably just the Danes, have achieved a breakthrough in nanotech, making a DNA nano cage. So they designed eight DNA molecules based on the human body's own molecules and mixed them together and made this tiny itty bitty nano cage. It can change its shape depending on the ambient temperature. So that means an enzyme could be trapped inside of it and when it reaches a certain temperature, it'll release it out into the wild wildernesses of, of our bodies. With the intention, of course, of targeting certain sickly cells and pumping medicine out of them. Moving along, China is set to take a huge leap in their space program with the launch of the Chang'e Lunar Lander. Set to touch down on the moon sometime in the middle of December. And the rocket that launched the lander was very uncreatively called the Long March, because you can't just shove any more propaganda down people's throats. And it took off yesterday morning without a hitch. This will be the first soft landing attempted by China. Chang'e will land by the Sinus Iridium on the moon, of course, because that's where it's going, and will deploy its little rover called the Jade Rabbit, which was decided by a poll on the internet, of course. It's being sent to conduct surveys, of course, and collect samples, and has ground-penetrating radar, which will measure the soil and the crust. After this mission, China looks to have another robotic mission conducted around 2020, and then maybe some man stuff after that. Come on, China, you gotta pick up the pace a little bit here. It's already the 21st century, guys. Get with it. All this is actually really just one big propaganda thing. It's all just increased nationalistic pride. And yeah, sure, be a stepping stone to greater exploration throughout the solar system. So guys, what we would like to know from you is, do you think China's just trying to take over the moon? You know? Maybe have a moon base and a death laser? Maybe? Let us know in the comments down below. China, please don't kill us. And uh, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And we'll see you in the next video, hopefully.